Good morning, YouTube. This is Patrick here, bringing another episode of Summer Max. I believe this episode is called the Reality 2.0. Not sure what's in store for us, but uh, let's let's see. Let's get it. Let's go. I realise that there's actually six episodes in this chapter, which is one more than I expected. So anyway, can't complain. More episodes, more game, more laughter, more shit and giggles. Unrest in the Dakotas. Dispatch Feels good, equal man. numbers of giant battle robots to all sides. Whoever survives, claim we backed them all along. Illegal immigration. Let the new guys pilot the giant battle robots. Criticism that your domestic policy is too giant battle robot based. On this back is still president of the room. Oh, he's not. The but, uh, that's so funny. 9, if that's the guys from Air Force One, tell them they get the keys back once they say the magic word. Quiet, Max. It's the commissioner. Total collapse of the economy and downfall of Western civilization. Great grinning head of John the Baptist in a pork pie hat stuffed in a rhinestone that bowling That sounded like a We're fire truck in ambulance. Oh, please, sir. We've got a computer crisis to take care of, little buddy. Have they tried turning it off and back on again? Bigger than that, Max. Computers everywhere are going haywire. Planes are falling from the sky. Yep. Nice set of the problem. Meltdown. Can be fixed by sitting for the pure and fixing back on Forced to go outdoors and socialize with normal people. Horror. Where do we start, Sam? The National Consortium of Smart People who are good with computers has been tracking electron surges all over the country. And one of the biggest is right here in our neighborhood. What an unbelievably convenient coincidence. How do we find an electron surge? No idea. Let's go. No idea, but let's go. Okay. Let's go. Oh, we got the, we got, we got the rug. That's new. Right. I was going to say, what's inside here then? Oh, we've got the head. <laughs> got his head. Even if he was just a puppet, Max, don't you think it's unsettling to keep the head of the former president inside our closet? You're right, Sam. We need to get a pike. Nice even there. Get a pike, you know. Head on the stick. Whee! Alright. Uh, let's have two Bosco. Okay, since there's two more episodes, I have a feeling he's going to play some two more episodes where he has different accents. I'm guessing one of them will be Chinese and the other one might be Indian. What do you guys think? So we had the English, French, Russian, and there's two more episodes. I'm guessing either Indian or Chinese. Let's see. It looks normal. Hey, Bosco. Greetings and well met, friend Watchman for hire. Sam, how come I suddenly have a primal desire to beat Bosco savagely? Because he's talking like a Renaissance Fair attendee, Max. It's an innate fight or flight response. I am El Bosco Drill, the unhinged, mighty and now, El oh Ranger. I'm done with this game. <laughs> Okay, I'm so Bosco. done with this game. While Max prepares Bosco, for Thorazine, why don't you tell us why you've become an elf? Ha! Elf! And I'll tell you why. I've had multiple delivery conspiracies. Half elf, so he's just got one of the ears that is now, an elf and other ears not an elf. Okay. Not sure that's how it works, Bosco, but okay. It's not safe for me here anymore. I gotta take my business to the only place I can feel 100% secure. The internet. What does this internet doohickey have to do with being an elf? Ha! Elf! It's because everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar. Like a dwarf or an orc or a hot young 15 year old girl curious about the adult world and willing to experiment. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but he's actually less creepy as the elf. Half elf fool! Ah, never mind. You guys don't understand how computers work. You're taking your store online? Where will that leave us? We fear and mistrust computers. Don't worry, guys. My online store will offer twice the inconvenience at thrice the price. Well, <laughs> see you there. <laughs> All right, okay. That's good. How's business, Bosco? Business is deader than a valet parking attendant at a convention of mob informants. That bad, <clears> huh? That rat showed up and started taking all my customers. Free enterprise, Jack. 
Say what you will, the rat knows his anarcho-capitalist economic philosophy. Max, I only bought you those encyclopedias because you promised me you couldn't read. We want to buy something. I have the finest goods in all the land. Tell him we'll pay him just to stop talking like that. <laughs> what would Squire care to purchase? We got some. What have you got? Oh, not much. Just a virulent biological weapon. All right. Biological weapons? We don't like to judge. Biological Speak for weapons. yourself, Sam. But isn't germ warfare a little on the south side of ethical? I've got to compete to stay in the market, guys. If an arms dealer is going to open up shop in my store, I've got to up the ante. Okay. Well, how much is it? All right. How much for this billion? For the million last time. It can't be a billion, that, can it? Billion. Oh my Dollar. gosh, it's a billion well, dollars. Well, what's another billion or so to the national deficit? I'm sorry. For safety reasons, I no longer how, accept how cash get a in the store. You'll have to pay online. That's pretty inconvenient. Thank you. I'm How gonna put a billion dollars? As I wish, but don't blame me when you're stuck in the torched wasteland with nary a bag of enchantment to defend thyself. I and mean, we have to use freaking. See you later, Bosco. To the battle! Guys, like, we have to use taxpayers' money to pay for a hundred million. For a billion? Well, if it isn't our favorite ethically challenged rat, Jimmy Two Teeth. Sam was wondering where you'd scampered off to. I'm touched. I was wondering what embarrassing pose we'd use when we had you stuffed and mounted. Yeah, yeah. I'm scared out of my wits. You's gonna buy something or what? What's he saying? What's a two-bit crook like you trying to sell this time? Is it kind of I'll sense? ignore that petty insult for the sake of a successful transaction. I'm selling the latest in interpersonal defense. You're an arms dealer? You make it sound so cheap. I deal in peace of mind. What have you got in stock? Yeah, right now I only got this cannon. You guys look like you should just start out with handguns. We've already got handguns. Oh yeah? Where? You just trust him on that one. How much for that cannon? It's not for sale. Worst arms dealer. <laughs> it's not for sale to you guys. I don't sell to the police. Call it my own ethical code. But we're just barely police. Yeah, I seen how you guys work. I sell it to you, and next thing I know, the bunny's got it pointed right at me. That's true. Sell us the cannon, Jimmy. I already told you, it's not for sale. Okay. What have you been up to, Jimmy? You know, the usual knitting, working on my tan. What do you think I've been up to? Starting a business ain't easy. The Better Business Bureau is going to be hearing about that attitude of yours, mister. Get bored lounging in the White House pond? Who was lounging, smart guy? I was networking. Turns out DC's a great place to get tips on being an arms broker. Maybe it was a bad idea to move the Oval Office back here, Sam. Are you still running with the skin bodies? I found I no longer agreed with their extremist view. More like you got a little chilly. Or got tired of seeing your repulsive pink flesh every morning. Well, let's let's just knocking. say I left for a variety of reasons. It's not too late to make an honest rat out of yourself, Jimmy. Or a bookend, or a doorstop. People want weapons, I sell them weapons. What could be more honest? See you later, Jimmy. <clears throat> Maybe if you can find me. Can I shoot him? No hunger, me. I got hunger. Oh, oh damn! Can I punch him? Box him? Hey, hands off the merchandise, pigs! Ooh. Oh, damn! I got hit. Okay, again. Hey, 
Hands off the merchandise, pigs! Oh, I tried to see if I could hit him Ooh. before when he reloads. Oh, I have my book. Merchandise pigs. Ooh, ooh. Am I? Uh, I'm gonna click on him while he's really. Oh, that's how you do it. I'm oh. stuck. As president, I resolve to address the nation's rat obesity problem without delay. Let me out of here. Oh, we'll let you out of there soon enough, Jimmy. Soon enough. Oh, so we just pulled the cannon with Jimmy in it. Rat cannon. Okay. <laughs> I think that's all for now. I don't know. Let's take a, a, a visit to Sybil, see what she's doing now. So she was carbon dating. Then she thought she had a hundred million. So she was away. Looks like she was on vacation or something. I don't know. Where is she now? What's that? A beta? Oh shit, that's what I want to be as well. I want to be. I'd love to be a beta system. Cancel due to lack of interest, though, right? <laughs> Just hey, like Telltale. So, have you. I'm surrounded! Cancel Lightning Silver. Bolt! Lightning Bolt! Stand back, Max. It sounds like Sybil's finally cracked. It's about time. Her relative stability was making though. the rest of the neighborhood look bad. Play games for them. Because it's not as, as glam shit. It sounds. This is just like that. But I just like playing games for some. Motivational speakers for that Sunday school. I like my own writing report. Some bugs on the more that case. stuff. And the three before that. If there's one thing I've but learned to recognize recently, it's a hypnotic device. You know, when game wants get game, those weird glasses are it. Launch stinging BBs of unholy smiting. Uh, release the closed beta or whatever, or open beta, and let, let you know, Sam, people Sam, when you love out, what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. There's not many people are getting paid to uh, start games now. I guess we talk to Demons, cast ward of pungent unsavoriness. Alright, she's not here. Can we can punch her? Uh, violence? Okay, uh, guys, uh, I, I'll condemn violence to girls, by the way. Demons, cast but it looks like we have to do something to her. Yeah, boxing her will work. Use a rat cannon. Oh, that worked. Guess that worked. Those goggles there. What happened? Am I at the respawn point? Is she coming on to us? Oh, we've got all drinks, so there needs to be energy drinks. Those wacky techno goggles. Did you guys just hit me in the head with a rat fired from a cannon? It doesn't sound as cool when you say it. Hope you're not overly peeved. It was the only way to break your hypnotic trance. I wasn't hypnotized. I was playing a computer game. No need to thank us. We're freelance police. It's what we do. Thank you. You guys just ruined my new job. Your new job was flailing around like a hyperactive fan dancer while screaming gibberish? That <laughs> job's already taken, lady. We're freelance police. It's what we do. <laughs> I'm a beta tester. I was playing Reality 2.0 with those goggles. And look, you broke them. And I haven't even paid off the deposit. Oh, damn. Ah, Reality 2.0. I suspected as much. It's a new, full immersion, interactive, massively multiplayer adventure. You play with these VR goggles and a Wi Fi link to a distributed game server. You might want to explain some of your more elaborate terms to my technology challenged little pal. I'm confused by your word, reality. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I forget you guys are Luddites. We are not. We're just very good friends. Reality 2.0 is like a video game. You put on those goggles and enter a different world. It's going to be the biggest thing on the internet. Okay. Never pegged you as a computer geek, Sybil. How'd you get the job? I was checking job listings online and found one right next door. Lefty's back? I can't wait to see him. 
Sam, have you seen my good machete? No, Lefty's gone. Now that space is being used by the cops. We've got a cop cops next moved into our neighborhood? Those dirty liars! We're all the police this neighborhood needs! And then some. Not police. It's an acronym for... Well, for something I can't remember. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Max? I highly doubt it! These cops guys must be behind our computer crisis. What's a beta tester? I play computer games to find bugs that need to be fixed before release. Don't you have to have experience to do that? All you do is go through somebody else's hard work and point out what they did wrong. I was a therapist, remember? Aren't computer games a colossal waste of time? Uh -huh. They're not so bad. As long uh -huh. as you're not stuck in some tedious dialogue tree. Have you guys ever actually played one? They make players antisocial, violent, without conscience or remorse, and too dependent on instant gratification. It seemed redundant. I'm not sure about all of those points. Maybe antisocial, but that's about it. I'm sure that you and any legal counsel that represents you can see how we thought you were here. You can be antisocial, I'm not saying you will be antisocial. Game propaganda. <clears throat> I was perfectly fine. I just wish it hadn't happened on my first day of work. They had you start working on a Friday? Today's Monday, isn't it? You've been playing that game for an entire week. She's an addict, Sam. Time for an intervention. We'll need some cocktail peanuts, an Iron Maiden, and, oh, a box of handkerchiefs. This is going to be emotional. An entire week? Maybe I don't want this job after all. You're not supposed to cave that quickly. And you call yourself an addict. <laughs> Is the game any good? It's all right, I guess. There's way too much repetition, though. What's wrong with the goggles? You broke them, that's what. It Oops. looks like the rear slot downstream signal framostat regurgitator chip is blown out. He has no idea what he's talking about, does he? Never. <laughs> See you around, Sybil. Look for me in the unemployment line. That's bad, man. Oh, these can drinks. Uh, can we pick up the little ones? They are good. They're broken. Did this game was talking about the VR? Okay, I'm not talking to you. Let's get cracking. They were, even this game no knew about VR. This it's game, game came out no, in what, 2006 no or it Well, it was open beforehand, so... Nothing but waste. Oh, right, okay, never mind. <laughs> Go to this uh, CRP cop thing. Ain't got a sign yet. Next item on the agenda. If you'd like to talk about the bake sale and raffle, press one now. Okay. If you well, know the name of the topic you'd like to raise, press two now. I hunger. The refreshments will be served after the meeting. I think we stumbled into the warehouse where Steve Wozniak makes erotic movies. Proximity <laughs> alert! Hello, and welcome to the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. State your business. Uh, why'd you hypnotize Sybil? What's the big idea hypnotizing our friend Sybil with your hinky goggles? Sybil, P-A-N-D-E-M-I-K. Inductee 48,726-5. She's enjoying reality 2.0. Rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! There is no escape! If you'd like to join the internet and experience reality 2.0 for yourself, press or say yes now. What does the internet have to do with your little virtual reality game? <laughs> the internet controls everything. The internet dreams of a world beyond this one. A world of games. A world of commerce. A world with neither boundaries nor exits. Now, using the combined computing power of an entire planet, that dream is becoming a reality. Reality 2.0. It's totally awesome! Wait, the internet? It makes sense. Only an entity with access to universal knowledge could cause computerized chaos on a global scale. It's not what you know, it's who you know! The internet knows everyone. 
By making use of its multiple networks of personal contacts with other machines, the Internet has gathered the sheer computing power necessary to instantiate Reality 2.0. Fine, but where does the hypnosis come in? Reality 2.0 is rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! There is no escape! Of course. This isn't about screwing up computers at all. It's about the people. It is? Reality 2.0 is nothing less than a fiendish plot to hypnotically enslave... Well, everyone. Great, then it's simple. All we have to do is destroy the internet and all our problems are solved. Where can we find this internet? You will fail! The internet is everywhere and nowhere. Divide by zero error. All computers on the planet are now working to create Reality 2.0. The only access to the internet is through Reality 2.0. We'd like to play Reality 2.0. Reality 2.0 requires our advanced virtual reality goggles, which may not be available in some markets. If you already have a pair of goggles, press or say yes now. Sybil has a pair, but there's a broken part. Your goggles explode! Game over! Likely hood of broken rear slot downstream signal from his fat regurgitator. 99.6%. Distance replacement chip. <laughs> Stop complaining, and just do it. Enjoy all right. your new signal from a stat regurgitator chip, and experience all that Reality 2.0 has to offer. But I want to play too! I doubt they have a pair that will fit around your hideously oversized skull, Max. The whole family can enjoy Reality 2.0. Take our complimentary goggles designed for special needs children so that the little ones can play along. What do we need to do with this chip? Just place it into a pair of our patented virtual reality goggles and join the internet for an exploration of reality 2.0. Sybil asked us to tender her resignation. She's got seasonal affective disorder. And scurvy! That is too bad. There is a lot of that going around these days. <laughs> The Internet is using you machines to hoodwink and enslave the world's populace. And as President of the United States, that's my job! Hey, still we President only around. wish to help. What exactly is going on here? We are taking the zero x zero c steps to celebrate our self-worth. I live! I am powerful! I will destroy you! Thank you for leading our daily affirmation. You're also, uh, vintage? Worthless scrap heaps of obsolete junk? Control your anger. Repeat mission statement. We formed the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society to put an end to backwards thinking like yours. Here at Cops, we believe you're only as obsolete as you feel. Version ain't nothing but a yeah, number. Yeah, only old as you feel. That's how I feel like I'm 96. <laughs> Feels bad, man. How did you meet? Online. Thanks to the internet, we've joined billions of like-minded machines all over the world. Are these meetings doing any good? It's had a positive impact on our self-esteem that can't be measured. Impact measured at 15.2 kilo trumps. Goodbye. You cannot escape! You'll have to excuse him. He has a hard time saying goodbye. <laughs> Uh, I guess we go back to Sybil and put the chip in. Chip snapped right in. 
No soldering required. Aw, you know how I like to burn things. Soldering, you know. What the Cheer fuck is soldering? Or kicking boots, little buddy. And We're gonna have to play this game to get to the bottom of the world's internet crisis. It's the a good thing your protective hat and my non-compatible brain render us both impervious to hypnotism. And it's a good thing you've been taking those classes in subtle exposition, pal. Now let's go. Oh, wigs in it. Oh, nice. This is like hypnotized, like the green, circly, swirly thing. Hey, neat. I had a oh, dream shit. like this once. You sold me a defective walrus, this and then vanished in a cup of orange smoke. Welcome to Reality 2.0, the perfect place of perfect happiness. I'm your host, the Internet. I didn't think the Internet had a face. Reality 2.0 is a lot like Sybil's office. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Sam still looks the same. That's because I'm already perfect. Uh -huh. Reality 2.0 simulates your world and links it to cyberspace while providing a clever fusion of popular gameplay styles guaranteed to amuse the statistically average person. It's everything for everyone. Then why do you need to hypnotize people with the goggles? We are confident that you will be perfectly happy here and will never want to leave. Ever. These goggle thingies are pinching my head. Please be advised that this is a beta version of Reality 2.0, so some features and locations may be incomplete at this time. It figures. Reality 1.0 has the same problem. Enjoy your new reality. Hey, wait. Internet? Hello? Nice. <clears throat> Visit is six. Oh shit, this looks so fucking freaky. 404, street not found. <laughs> but it's right here! Well, some of it anyway. Reality 2.0 is currently at beta status. Some features may be unavailable at this time. Hey, wait! <gasps> There's a second box. Whoa! Pop-ups! Oh, Can't we get away from ads anywhere? Ads, we know. believe that you will want to hear about products available from our sponsors. Pretty solid! All promotions in Reality 2.0 are tailored to the buying habits of the individual user. Cod swallow! I heard that. I can't get near it with these impenetrable ads popping up all the time. Hmm. I go inside. <laughs> 